Hello everyone, today we're going to try to fix errors that mid-journey can generate while rendering an image, thereby ruining that perfect one that you were looking for. As you can see in this example, the image turned out quite well. The prompt was about a young lady smiling while holding a camera and wearing a black leather jacket. Unfortunately, the left hand has an extra finger, which is quite noticeable and detracts from the image's authenticity. How can this be corrected? Yes, we've all heard of advanced photo editing software like Photoshop or Canva, which allow you to edit the image and remove the finger in such a way that it doesn't appear to be there in the first place. However, not everyone has the time to learn how to use software like Photoshop. I discovered this website called Pickwish that includes an unwanted object removal tool that makes it very simple to remove objects from images using artificial intelligence. In this case, we will attempt to remove the extra finger. So let us try to repair this image. I'll show you how simple it can be and what the end results are. To begin, we will click on the little hand icon so that we can drag and center the image. We can then proceed to our object to be removed, in this case the finger, I zoomed in at 220%, but you can go in closer if you believe it will help you more clearly identify the object's borders. To highlight the image, there are three tools at the top of the screen that you can use. I recommend you try the one you think will work best for the object you want to remove, in this case, I'm using the brush tool, which I've sized correctly to highlight the finger. I also found the lasso to be quite useful because it makes it easier to go around uneven surface objects. Once you've completely covered the object, let the AI do its thing. Watch what happens when you click Erase. As you can see, the finger is no longer there. If you zoom out, you can't tell that there are some remnants of the deleted objects, and the image looks fine. You can then use the lasso tool or even the brush tool to fine-tune the deletion, blending the jacket and shadows of the removed finger even more. The more effort you put into it, the better the final result, but as you saw, the finger was pretty much gone even on the first attempt. So, what do you think? Was the image saved? Is the end result of the Pickwish AI tool work good enough to say that this image is a keeper? Let's take a look at it from a different angle this time. First, I'll show you the cleaned images results and see if you can figure out where I removed the unwanted object. The theory goes that once you see something, you can't unsee it, but if you didn't see it at first, you won't know it was ever there. I was rather disappointed when I saw the original picture of this chimp done with Midjourney V5 because the image was amusing and overall looked quite good, but there was a large aberration in an object that completely ruined it. I didn't believe I could save it even if I used the Pickwish AI tool to clean it up. Take a look at that. What on earth is that? It appears to be a pair of brown leather gloves dangling from the end of a pole or stick. It's amazing what Midjourney can produce, and as I previously stated, I didn't think it was possible to remove this and still have a usable image, but I'm quite pleased with the final result I obtained using Pickwish. Now consider this example. This image was created using Midjourney V4. I enjoy using Midjourney V4 to create illustration style images, and when I first saw this one, I thought it was really interesting. However, as with the previous image of the chimp, there were a few aberrations in the image that completely ruined it. Can you tell where the AI tool was used in this picture? Did you get this one right? Again, I got very good results. I didn't think I'd be able to get rid of the coconut trees hanging in the air, but there you have it. Let's give it one more try. So, in this image, where do you think an object was removed? Any thoughts? Remember that you know to look for an area where an object might have been removed. If you were shown this image and no one told you that there was originally an issue with it, would you have guessed? Yes, Midjourney blessed this unicorn with an extra front leg. This one took a little more work, but I got there in the end. The unicorn was transformed back into a strange horse with wings and a horn on its head. Because there is no one tool that fits all, and because of the shape of the unicorn's leg, I had to use both the lasso and the brush tools to accomplish this. 
I had to take my time carefully tracing the leg before attempting the first erase. Then I had to go back over the same area several times to blend the removed areas in with the background. Even with extra care, it doesn't always work, and I had to undo and redo the shadowing on occasion. I had to work extra hard around the joints to get the right shape, but there you have it. The unicorn was completely restored in about 5 minutes. So, let's do a quick recap of what you've seen. If you use Midjourney in any version, you will most likely get images that are nearly perfect in terms of what you want to generate, but you will also get some objects and aberrations that can ruin the picture. However, if you go to the PicWish website and upload your image, you can use its powerful AI tool to try to salvage it. Choose one of the tools to highlight the objects you want to remove, and when you're finished, click the Erase button to delete them. You can then fine-tune the image and use the same tools to blend the area where the object was erased with its background, and when you're completely satisfied with the results, you can click the download button and save the image to your computer. The PicWish object removal tool is 100% free, so you have nothing to lose by giving it a try. Of course, you can try using this tool on any digital image you want, such as a photo from your phone or a picture from social media, the tool should work with all of them, it does not have to be an AI-generated image for it to work. The website for PicWish will be linked in the video description. I hope you found this information interesting and that it gives you hope that you can still save your images. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn on notifications to be notified when I post a new one. Thank you for watching.